She... My mom didn't call Cuddy. She called you. I knew you couldn't stay away. I knew you loved me too much. I'm doing this for your mom. I'm not doing this at all. If there was something to be done, I would have done it in the year he spent dying. You took my Vicodin? I'm in pain. One? So the Vicodin is my leash. One will take the edge off, but it won't give me enough relief for an escape back to Plainsboro. I need to pee. Pull over at the next stop. I'll just pee on the floor. You bought used floor mats? That is brilliant. There's a rest stop in five miles. Kane. The restroom's right there. You can make it on your own. I suppose I could talk about the summer he decided he wasn't speaking to me. Two months, not one word. Anything he wanted to say, he typed up and slipped under my bedroom door. You don't want to say anything? Don't say anything, but go. Tell your mom you're sad for her. Just by being there, I'd be lying. She wants to think for a moment that she had a happy family. So give her a gift. Lie. Give me my cane. I'll go to the damn funeral. go to the funeral. I didn't say when. We actually keep a flashlight that doesn't need batteries in the trunk. Next to the jacket, emergency water, nail clippers, toothbrush, space blanket. When things go wrong, I like to be ready. Will you please hold the flashlight for a minute? You know, those aren't just my car keys. My house keys are on there, too. Amber gave me that keychain. No, she didn't. Not unless your pet name for her was Volvo. A man who would lie about a gift from a dead girlfriend. Is probably responding to a childish, pointless act of petulance. The struggle to resist one's captors is never pointless. Vive la résistance. Well, I hate to break it to you, Che, but simple delay won't work. Your mother will hold the funeral till we get there. Your father was a punctual man, beholden to time. Two minutes late for dinner, you didn't eat. My mother would never disrespect him by starting the funeral late. Yeah, yeah, you clearly have no issues to work through. Come on, forget the keys. Call a locksmith. We'll go inside and play Guess That Smell with the truckers while we're waiting. Join me on the dark side. Dark side's done, House. I'm delivering you to your mother, and that's it. I've moved on. I'm not lost. Good heavens, we haven't missed it after all. It's like the end of a Christmas carol. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, it's a load off of my mind just to see you. Thank you, James. 
Mom, how could you delay the funeral? Honey, your dad is dead. He's not going to care. Do you know what you're going to say? I don't know. Just let the minister, one of his buddies from the Corps. You're talking. I don't care that you didn't like him. He was your father, and he loved you. The war is over, Greg. Please do this for me. Stop looking so worried. I know he's going to make me proud. I'm sure you know him better than I do. It means more to me than, than I can say to have all of you here today. And now, uh, our son, Gregory, would like to say a few words. Greg? There's a lot of people here today, including some from the Corps. And I noticed that every one of them is either my father's rank or higher. And it doesn't surprise me. Because if the test of a man is how he treats those he has power over, it was a test my father failed. This man you're eager to pay homage to, he was incapable of admitting any point of view but his own. He punished failure, and he did not accept anything less than He loved doing what he did. He saw his work as some kind of sacred calling, more important than any personal relationship. Maybe if he'd been a better father, I'd be a better son. But I am what I am because of him, for better or for worse. I just, I just wish. serve your agenda. You really want to do this in front of everybody? You want to punish me or them? How can I still feel surprise? You would take even this, a moment of real human grief, and turn it into a farce. Oh, cut the crap. You enjoy what I do. I never had to force you. You like coming along for the ride. Yes, that's why I'm cheering you on now. This is about you needing to be prepared for the worst. So you become an oncologist. No surprises there. Worst happens all the time. But Amber, she was young and healthy. Her death came out of nowhere. Don't bring Amber into this. And you weren't ready. That makes you angry. The world sucks and you didn't have time to brace yourself. What happened out there is your show. You're scared to death of losing anyone that matters, so you dump the person who matters the most to you. I'm not scared to death. I'm moving forward. Because no one can take away from you what you no longer have. <laughs> oh, your father's death is about you. Amber's death is about you. I can't imagine why someone wouldn't want to be your friend. Admit it. You're angry and you're scared of losing me. I'm not angry. I'm not Admit scared. It. I'm not Admit afraid. Admit it. I've lost Admit people. It. it happens. Admit it. What are you, five? Stop repeating. Admit it. 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 Come on. Admit it. Admit it. <laughs> <laughs> Still not boring. 